one. I'm in a place with light because I wanted to make sure that you could see my hair. Um, this is pretty much how I bleach my hair using Japanese products. I don't go over the dyeing in this. This was just the dyeing part was an experiment and I didn't want to show it because I didn't use gloves. There was nothing professional or even organized about it. But if you want to see my bleaching process, keep watching. Pretty much, uh, I have no more attachment to my hair. I put so much care into it and it has grown. My hair is like... Uh, yeah, it's about that long. Shrinkage is just horrible and I'm tired. I was tired of being plain. I'm kind of running out of wigs. I no longer have the expendable income to like buy wigs. So I think I want to color my hair and I want to get over my like fear of being stared at here. In a video that I was making, I'm still in the editing process of it. I, I was talking about like fitting in in Japan and I said, well, no matter what you look like, no matter how you dress, if you dress like conservatively or if you dress just out there, people are going to stare at you because you are a foreigner. And so I think that one of my biggest pet peeves is being stared at. And I need to just get over that because people are going to stare regardless. So I'm going to bleach my hair. So a little bit about my hair. It's 4C. Um, it's actually been up in braids because I've been wearing wigs quite often and yeah it's really dry Ooh. Ooh, let's see how this turns out yeah I did a treatment last night and I put a scarf on and I went to sleep and it's dry now right now my hair is dry there's only coconut oil in it I think I'm gonna put more coconut oil okay so my camera was dying a bit well my camera battery was low so I decided to part my hair off uh, camera while it was charging so this is pretty much what I have. And finding like hair products in Japan is very difficult. A lot of the good stuff you have to be a professional to have for some reason. You can't just go and buy like developer or you know that like actual good helpful stuff. So this is the brand that I'm using. I bleached my wigs with a different brand but I decided to try this. It has Tsubaki oil. So in the box comes uh, a shower cap, which is nice. I was looking for one. I can't find one. And then here are the instructions. And it comes with bleach powder, a cream, and oxide water. Also, it comes with this little attachment that you can use to comb your hair. So uh, while, of course, while um, putting my hair up, I detangled it and I... You know, try to make it as easy as possible. And I sectioned it into as many sections as possible so that I could get through it rather quickly and so that the bleach can set evenly. My hair is gonna be yellow. Uh, I forgot to get a uh, purple shampoo, which is not something you can just go into a store and buy. I think I can go to Don Quixote and buy some. So I think I'll do that. I actually have like I have like two hours until work starts, so I'm gonna I'm trying to speed through this. Oh, it comes with gloves also. Comes with gloves. And pretty much I've I've bleached hair, I've bleached my wigs many times, so I know what the instructions are and I know what to do, what to look for. And this is really cute, so it has it so that oh well I messed it up. So it has it, so there's a little hole in the box. It says to put your oxide water into the box. And then it says to put in the bleach powder. Oh goodness. I'm doing this on my bed, Not also not the best place to do it. Make sure to, you know, tighten this and shake. What does it say? It says uh, for 30 seconds, 
shake it 80 times am i counting no not at all So then next step, put it back in the box. Uh, yeah, maybe doing this on a surface would be smart. And then we're gonna, oh goodness. Next we're gonna put the cream in. Uh, and it has one of those tops where you just stick it in and uh, it puts a hole into the foil. That's like it. That's it. So I'm gonna put this over here. Take the top. Got bleach on the table. And I'm so sorry about my lighting. I used to do it in front of my door right here, but I don't want anyone to see my room, pretty much. <laughs> and, um,. Also, like I'm working on buying a ring light because I never have time during the morning to really make videos. Wait, actually I did not read. Uh, 15 seconds, 30 times. And it's, it's getting thick, like me. So before I really start, I'm gonna put coconut oil on everything. But I said this earlier, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. Um, there's a lot of great like temporary hair coloring products. So before I like settle into a hair color, uh, if I still have hair at the end of this, um, whenever I, before I settle into a hair color, I think I want to, you know, try out a few. One of my favorite brands called Etude House has a two-tone color treatment, which is just pretty much, um, it, like, if your tone is light or if it's dark, depending on if it's been bleached or not, it'll, like, dye your hair differently, but it's a treatment. So... It's also nourishing, so it colors and um, treats your hair. Uh, then also treatments are what they call hair mask here. I mean, some things, I think they may be slightly different, but yeah, treatments are pretty much just hair masks. I'm gonna get the middle of my head. Try to protect my scalp as much as possible. And I think um, every time I take down some, I'm going to put some olive oil, some coconut oil uh, in my scalp. Or maybe I can do it now. No, no, no. Okay, so let me get my ears. Get this part. I really hope I'm not late for work. <laughs> that would suck. So I'm gonna put my gloves back on. Didn't need to be explained. You could see it, but still. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna look over some more of the instructions. Yeah, so it can actually build up pressure um, and explode. So you gotta watch out for that. Oh, yeah, so as soon as you make it, you have to, like, put in your hair. Oh, my. Yep, nice. Two ways to do it. You can use the comb or you can section your hair and do it piece by piece. 
Uh, in the other in the other die I would use, it actually told you like start at the ends, and then yeah, it said to start at the ends and then go towards the base and then your scalp because your scalp is um, uh, a lot warmer than the ends of your hair, so the heat sets in a lot faster. But I know it's not different, but it just doesn't say that in these instructions, so. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Here we go. I'm gonna start from the back and uh, go to the front because I always have this issue where I, yeah, I put too much on the front and then there's nothing for the back. I'm gonna use, try to use as much as possible. I'm gonna start at the ends. This brush wasn't made for my hair type, so I think I'm just gonna like put it into my hand and then smooth it in. Okay, so I may have to go off camera so that I can do this properly, so I'll be back. Uh, all of my hair is into, like, barely. My hair is barely in this wig cap. Not wig cap. My hair is barely in this shower cap. Um, so, what time is it? It's 1.37, and so I'll give it 20 minutes. Maybe I'll do, like... 150. Okay, well, see you then. Okay, so I just put like a, a lot of uh, conditioning products in my hair. Um, this didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to, but I have to admit it turned out pretty good. So I was expecting my hair to come out very like crunchy and hard to run my fingers through, but it wasn't. Like, first I tried to rinse out as much of the product that I could. And then I washed it and I expect it like after the wash for it to just, you know, be like, oh, I can't run my fingers through it. But it was very, very soft still. And uh, this, it really helped. It You can get it from like Dollar General or something. And it's called Moisture Miracle. It's by African Pride. And it has honey and coconut oil. And it's like Nourish and Shine uh Nourish and Shine Shampoo, Sulfate Free, Color Safe, Hydrates and Elongates, uh, Natural Coils and Curls. No parabens, no mineral oil. So yeah, there's that. And then I use also this brand. Um, this isn't a normal brand that I use for my hair. I usually like to use the Honey brand. and But this was on sale for... <laughs> If you can see it, it was on sale for 200 yen. So I was like, oh, okay, uh, it's probably going to expire soon. And so that's why it was 200 yen. And I just tend to just do, you know, whatever's cheap. And it has like all of these different like oils and plants in there. And there's also Subaki in here. This is actually the brand that sells Subaki oil, I think. This is pretty much what my hair looks like. My coils. They look a little looser, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna to come to the camera, hopefully you can see me. But um, I ran out of product like right here. <laughs> and so this is still black. Yeah, that's still black. I wanted it to be all the way through. I didn't. I wanted my roots to also be colored. And I tried to get my edges and like, nah. Yeah, I tried to get my edges and I think it was the coconut oil that may have blocked it but also I may not have just gotten my edges good enough so I think I'm gonna buy some more hair bleach and try again but yeah my curls look okay I'm I'm having you know some fallout some of my hair is coming out but I think that's also from uh, not really detangling well because yeah it was exactly the same before I put the uh, product in, and so I may not have detangled well enough, and so uh, whatever was trapped is now coming out because my curls are looser. Another one of the moisturizing products that I use is like my favorite brand, Etude House. There's like Etude Houses everywhere, and so this is ugh, a tiny bit dirty, but silk starts. Silk Scarf Hair Treatment, and they have a whole Silk Scarf uh, brand. There's like a hair mist, and there's a moisture cream. And then there's also a hair mask, like a two-part hair mask where you put the oil essence in, and it comes with a shower cap, and uh, also like a essence cap. It's just a cap that has the essence in it, and then you put the shower cap on top, and it makes your hair nice and soft. 
But I have to admit, it did turn out better. I was expecting to not have hair after this, so. <laughs> I'm horrible. Um, but yeah, I was expecting not to have hair after this, and I do, and it's so soft. I think I'm gonna uh, try again tomorrow. I think I'm gonna bleach my hair tomorrow and see how that turns out. And thank you for watching. I'll put pictures of like the finished product on up later. And I may film another video of me bleaching my hair a second time. But thanks for watching. Bye. So this is an update about my hair. Um, I bleached it again. Of course, you see I started with my roots early. And um, because I was trying to get all the spots that I missed. And of course, there's still spots that I missed. And so I think I'll do a touch up maybe in like next month. But for now, I think I'm going to experiment and use a temporary like color treatment just to figure out what color I really like in my hair. And so, yeah, that's about it.